So the second thing we wanted to find out in this investigation were the properties of paper. And we might want to know to start with how strong is paper. Well, the strength of paper, if we put a piece of paper up this way and put something on top of it, it just collapses. Can we just say that paper is just a weak material? Well, not, not really, because that's one type of force. It's what we call compression forces, two forces pushing together. What about forces pulling apart? That's another type of force which we might call tension forces. So let's put the paper in tension, grab either side and pull. Well, it doesn't even budge. It's really quite strong in tension or in tensile strengths. There's one other type of, at least one other type of force too that engineers talk a bit about is uh, shear force, which is, or shear strength, which is more of a twisting motion or a sideways um, action. And as we can see, paper is not really strong in that direction either. So one really good property of paper is its tensile strength. Now, your task is going to get one piece of A4 paper and make something to show the best way you can the strength properties of paper because we want to know that for our packaging materials. If we're going to use paper or paper-based materials in our packaging design, we want to know something about its properties so that we can use it in that context. So that's your task. You can use one piece of paper only. You may use a bit of sticky tape and you may use a bit of glue if you need to, but they're probably all you need. Show me something and take a photo if you can and put it on to Google Classroom on the assignment there of the thing that you create showing me the strength of the paper. I've got a bit of an idea for what I want to do and I might film that now, but maybe I won't show it to you until next week.